So welcome back, everyone, to the... Yeah, we'll just get cozy. Um, welcome, everyone, to the anime and manga news for the week ending uh, September 29th, 2017, starting with announcement that there is a Hollywood adaptation of your name, the Makoto Shinkai film, coming in uh, who knows when, you know, obviously. But we have found out in that in the works, uh, it is being... Helmed by J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot Productions. Oh, nice. Exactly. So They do some good work. They definitely know what they're doing, and I just realized um, we didn't have the... There, that, that's better. <laughs> okay, um, so yes, uh, Your Name is being done by Paramount Pictures. Um, Makoto Shinkai has released his little statement saying, yay. Um, uh, they, they are going to be sharing, there'll be a, a, a producer from Bad, Bad Robot, Bad Robot and a producer from Shinkai's uh, company working uh, jointly on the project. Mm. So it is going to be sort of a Japan and you know, America co-production. Um, and the screenwriter for Arrival, hmm. the recent sci-fi film, um, is, is going to be um, adapting the script for live action. This should be interesting. So that's good. Yeah. Um, certainly good pedigree yes. from everyone involved. And uh, we're hoping that that uh, progresses and does good stuff. Hmm. Um, and uh, the worldwide take, by the way, so far for your name is about three hundred fifty-five million dollars. Ooh, that's a, that's a that's a, I wouldn't mind a, exactly. a chunk of that. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> doing just fine. Um, so um, also this week, the full-scale live-action Gundam Unicorn was unveiled. Um, it 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 popped up. They actually have live it action. there. The the, the full-size full-size live-action one. The would you like to see it? Yeah. Let's do that. Um, I think I have... I don't have it set up. I will have it set up here in a second. Um, let me pull this. There it is. Um, let's switch over to that. Hopefully we're not going to take it down by this one because it is technically someone else's, but you know. It's it, it's news, and news is okay. Exactly. It's not like we're stealing anything. Any their thunder. In fact, we're giving them free promotion for. Exactly. Hey, check totally. this out. <laughs> so you guys will be able to hear the audio going here. This is the main actor behind Gundam Unicorn doing some lines uh, from the series, and then uh, right behind him, um, in a few more seconds, you will see something rather significant. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's <laughs> <pretty cool. laughs> and you see not only yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, they spent a lot of time and work on this. Wow. <laughs> pretty darn cool. I'm mesmerized by yeah, that. Yeah. That's 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 nice stuff. <laughs> Um, so that is out. They also announced there will be a new Gundam Unicorn project coming, mm. which is cool. Yeah. I uh, don't know what that is. Just, you know, something's coming. This franchise is just got so much strength. I mean, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they keep mentioning they want to remake original Gundam. Um, that may actually be happening now, which is uh, mm. interesting. Uh, all right. Moving on to, uh, let's see here. What next, the, next, in the ne news. next in the news. Okay. So this is interesting news. The um, uh, home video sales of anime in Japan has been down last uh, for the last six months. And moving, yeah, yeah, exactly. I think over there. Um, and uh, it's it, been going down. It fell sixteen percent in the first half of, of the year. What, why? What? Well, it's been going down generally. Um, so home video sales in general in Japan have been d d d dropping. Of course, in Japan, it's quite expensive. So. It is. So I think that's a lot of it. But this this chart you see here goes. Let me see if I can just pull that up so you, you see the scale. Yeah. Um, so that is a charts of, I believe, that charts from 1997 through last year. Oh, we're below 97 sales. Yeah, exactly. There was a nice peak there mm -hmm. after between 97 and 98. Uh, uh, around 98. Yeah. And, and then, then a huge peak around 2004 ish. Yeah. yeah. And then it's just been uh, declining steadily. Low the last. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> very, last. very weird. Now I think streaming, streaming, and digital. Does, does that account for it, that, it, that it, probably? It, those are discs. Those are discs. Discs only. only. Okay. So I think that's you what's know, happening. I we've we've been seeing that trend where people prefer to get streamed. They don't have to store a hard copy. Mm -hmm. 
but we're a lot of otaku. We <laughs> like to have that hard copy set on our shelf exactly. and look at it, but if you can stream it just as easily as owning it, mm -hmm. then is there going to be less of a market for, uh, say, special box sets or probably or... and that's the interesting thing is that so much of the economy mm. of anime is based mm. around those box sets it's based around those special editions the really expensive home video stuff mm. so maybe 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 uh maybe they can do something like artists do, do where mm. there's a limited release set one of mm. five thousand well that's what they already do 5, that's the thing oh. is that that's been doing for years and years is having those limited edition box sets um, signed by the artist <laughs> yeah and, and, and <laughs> but apparently that's i won't say it's going away yeah, but it's yeah. it's dropping so who knows uh it's very weird um, um i'm kind of curious uh what what uh what what our viewers prefer is uh, do, yeah. do they prefer hard copy or stream or, yeah are you a, i mean I find it hard sometimes to watch on a cell phone, but the convenience of where I am makes it great. Mm -hmm. But I guess it depends upon the anime, you know, if it's subbed or dubbed, if it's noisy, yeah. if I can actually read. <laughs> it should also be pointed out, this is individual use sales. It's not, you know, rental sales, commercial sales, business sales, that kind of stuff. It's just mm -hmm. home video sales, basically. Mm -hmm. um, uh, do you have an idea? Uh, this is actually also interesting. The Japanese uh, anime for general audience sales made up 26% of total sales. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. If you think about how many people there are everywhere else, <laughs> that's a good portion. Yeah, um, but they're down 16% um, last year. Um, interestingly, Blu-ray disc sales makes up 77% of the sales now. I so. gotta say, I, I, I held off on Blu-ray as long as I could, but now that I've been watching Blu-ray... Mm -hmm. I do appreciate Blu-ray. Yeah. It makes a difference. <laughs> Disc is good. Um, Blu-ray has a certain quality, mm -hmm. especially when you have something really large. Yeah. And um, I gotta say, uh, mm. if you get a chance to get a Blu-ray player... <laughs> Definitely. Um, now, they, they also pointed out that the big summer blockbusters have mm. not released on disc yet in Japan. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's the holiday season thing, right? Where those things come out in June, July, August in theaters. The discs drop in October, November, December. And those make up a huge upswing in sales. Hmm. So probably there will be a recovery of these sales in the later half of the year. Um, but you can see, obviously, you know, year by year it's down. So Just in time for Christmas. Exactly. Yeah, we can, hey. We can do the fried chicken thing. <laughs> yeah, Kentucky fried exactly. chicken. Can't see. <laughs> see the colonel. Um, all right, so moving on to some, some less wonderful news. Um, anime Punch, a, a company that organizes anime conventions, um, has ceased operations. Oh, because no. uh, one of the executives was convicted of sexual battery. Battery? Sexual battery. Um, pretty bad. Um, actually, Ooh. here in the state of Virginia. Um, and he's already a currently registered sex offender in Ohio. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not good. Um, oh, no. So they are just ceasing operations. They ran um, um, Arm uh, Armageddon Con, uh, Field Con, and a few others out in the Midwest. Hmm. Um, and there's no... You know, you know, other information on exactly what was going on, what was, what was happening, but the fact that it happened outside of Ohio... Was that mm, accused or convicted? Convicted. Convicted. That's... Yeah. Uh, what can you do? Exactly. That's uh, that's pretty bad. Um, uh, uh, this is this is the gentleman in question here. Not um, me. Not me. Not me. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> uh, Actually, me. Uh, that's, no, that's, no. That's, 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 <laughs> exactly. Um, so yeah, so that's that's unfortunate. I wonder um, if anybody's going to be able to uh, uh, help out uh, take uh, some of the con convention. Yeah. Um, Probably, I mean, and that's typically what happens in these, where you know another the, convention will be able to help. Yeah, like, take or in the, their... the organization dissolves, but a lot of people who were involved start something new. You know, not related to the old person. And that, that, that's that's kind of the problem that uh, if if a convention is based around an individual rather yeah. than a collective, mm -hmm. because if one person crumbles, so much goes with it. Yeah. Where if it's the collective, you could say, okay, we've had a change in leadership. Mm -hmm. Whatever was there is gone. We're pr pruning the dead branches, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, which is often a good idea. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, so, again, to be clear, he was already a registered sex offender in Ohio, now convicted in Virginia. That, that, that's the, the magnitude of it. Um, yeah, sad, sad stuff. Um, anyway, moving on to um, 
Uh, something a, a little uh, nicer, which I got the wrong uh, bottom text for, but that's okay. So Masaki Yawasa, who made, uh, I believe he made Cat Soup, Mind Game. Cat Soup. Um, a bunch of other <laughs> weird anime, yeah. Mind Game? I, I'm going to see some of these. Oh, he's, he's really cool. Kaiba. Cat Soup. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a funky one. Um, <laughs> he recently released a, a movie um, called, what's, what, what, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, it's oh, a, yeah, it's called, the movie um, was called Night is Short, Walk on Girl. Hmm. And I've seen clips of it, and yeah, it's weird. <coughs> it has won the Ottawa International Film Festival Award. Oh. Um, I believe for Best Animation. Wow. Um, I know, the, the, the Grand Prize for Features. Excuse me. So this wasn't even an animation award. It was their favorite film of the festival. That is impressive. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, so for those who aren't familiar, Yuasa does... <laughs> Weird things. Um, he, I, I like weird. Oh yeah. I mean, his his stuff is way on the cutting edge. It doesn't look like anime. It doesn't look mm. anything else. Oh, it is wow. just just out there. Uh, he's very experimental. So it's it's neat seeing that. Neat, neat seeing something uh, a little so, unusual. So 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 with the experimental style, mm. uh, should I not necessarily look for anime conventional mm-hmm. shorthand yeah. style stuff? It's like watching. You know how you'll watch like a like a Japanese film or a Hong Kong film, and you realize this is like a low budget, very much somebody with a distinct vision kind mm. of a movie, and because it's also made in Japan, it has a very distinct um, sensibility. Mm. It's like that, mm. you know. You'll recognize elements. And obviously, it's all being animated by you know anime uh, staff, but it is definitely not typical anime, <laughs> uh, which is cool. Yeah. Um, so that's good news. It's always good to see. We don't get that many original anime films, so it's good to see. You know, and to win an out. award and yeah. be the top of the Ottawa. Mm-hmm. I mean, Canada has has some interesting film festivals. Yeah. and because because uh, of, of some of the labor laws, a lot mm-hmm. of production is done in Canada mm-hmm. for other other film video. So mm-hmm. to win there is that's i i'm impressed that uh, now i get to see yeah. it yeah <laughs> me too um, yeah a lot of animation is actually done over there rick and morty done in canada i love rick and morty uh, oh my love goodness it. Love, love, love. <laughs> <laughs> um let's, let's move on from that um finally a, a sad bit of news the oh. uh mangaka behind uh, wolf children mm. Ame and you uh, yuki um uh, passed away just this past week from complications she's been having some um illness uh, recently, and she's had poor health for the past few months. Actually, for for years now. Mm. And um, and her husband posted that she passed away. Mm. Interestingly, not from complications from her illness. So, I don't know what was going on. But, uh, uh, sad to see. So, uh, for those unfamiliar, Wolf Children was a more Hosoda film from mm. some years ago, based on this manga. Uh, and she did a few other manga projects before that, but that was kind of her big breakout hit. Mm. So, sad. Um, mm. But uh, such is life, unfortunately. Mm. Anyway, uh, so thank you all very much for joining us this week for the news. We hope you'll be back next week with um, lots more (laughs) going on. Uh, There's always more stuff happening. So thank you all, and until next time, watch more interesting anime. Yeah.